we all know that the game has changed and been changed fundamentally and the 2k community is reacting to it accordingly we know some things that'll be have been changed and just to, just to name a few you got dunking has been changed going to the rim has been changed paint defense has been changed this has been augmented uh shooting the ball has been changed all of these things have changed you can't really get steals like that anymore the way that we used to they're still in the game but it has changed all of these things are mixing together to make a cocktail for very low iq basketball conversely and some people are actually worse for it conversely i think i might be the best player in the world because i was completing another trash before this thing when the update came out and look at your boy out there in the wreck eh? they lagged me out of the game bro we actually won that game by quite a lot i had 34 of them things shooting 100 percent from three 100 percent yes i was shooting 100 percent from three 85 percent from the field i think i just got blocked on a dunk or something like that and i ain't had no business down there anyway man but look the game could be better it could be better for some people it could be worse for some people and we're gonna get into that right after this but before we get started make sure y'all like the video and comment like down below that's gonna do two things for y'all number one if we can average 8k views we're gonna be giving away a next gen console whether it be an xbox a playstation or 500 bucks um or we're gonna give away a copy of, uh, or a laptop or something like that uh second Every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC cash out, or we give away a copy of a video game of your choice. Last but not least, if nobody else told you this today, you my brother or you my sister, and I love you. And we gonna keep this thing pushing just like that. All right, and, uh, and, and like I said, with all that out of the way, good morning out there, 2K land, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. We gonna get started with the lady go brazy, and she says, words for the day is never stop making content, even if you get three views, share it on your socials, then boom, 100 plus views, never lost faith uh, in some, never never lose faith in something that you like to do. And I agree with that, man. And speaking of that, man, I'm gonna actually be starting, we got the new channel, Easy Does It. We're gonna be starting to put up a lot of content over there. That's gonna be like, just a lot of quick updates on sports, uh, and anything in pop culture, anything like that, bro. It's mainly gonna be sports and stuff because that's what I really know. That's what I do. We're gonna be finding our way and finding out how we're gonna do that, man. So make sure if you if you're interested in something like that, make sure that you go over there, check that out. If you're gonna watch the videos, if you're not really interested and you're not really gonna try to rock with it or you're not gonna like the videos, you're not gonna watch them or like them or do any of that stuff. Don't even waste your time. I understand it's not for you, not your cup of tea, but we only want to, we trying something with this YouTube thing. I got a theory that if your subs get behind your videos and like them and they can push them up and you can get, you know what I'm saying? You can ascend to higher heights and all of that stuff. So if, like I said, if you're not interested in it, don't go over there and sub. Link is down in the description. Don't go over there and sub just because you're trying, you know, you, you want to try to support me. Only go over there and sub if you're going to watch those videos. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of stuff. We're going to be dropping like five videos today, starring with this Carmine McLean being dropped to a four star from five star, which I think is completing another hogwash. They got to get rid of that, uh, you know, and I think, that, I think it's part of a plan, but we're going to talk about what their plan is over there, man. Up next, we got that boy jump man germ saying look man fun fact well is, are they gonna let it play why they why did why the twitter videos do like this bro it says hey fun fact nba 2k uh, fun fact in 19 and 20 you could play dodgeball and earn vc are the 2k gods trying to keep me from doing this man why why won't it just play the video there we go right there look at bow get hit in your mouth fool that joker said man says shut the f up shut the f up and get on the ground and give me that 25 g's oh g's g's 25 g's for me you got that thing right now man y'all already know what it is man that boy famous enough wanted to ask what's your strategy to create gaming content this year and uh some people say creative uh, creative effects, shortcuts, leverage the use of sound and strong CTA. Uh, he said captions and screen, you know, for shorts and TikTok. Volume, volume, volume. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. That's really the main thing. You just gotta put stuff out there. I've been studying a lot of YouTube and a lot of other channels, and I'm just seeing that what they're doing, rather than sitting there trying to be like. It used to be build a community and feed things to the community. Now it's more find out what's hot 
and and just try to get and, and we going for views over subs it used to be you want to get like it don't matter if i got a bunch of views i'm trying to get subs so i can get the repeat views but now i'm seeing the youtube strategy just be put things out that are popular it doesn't matter if you gain subs uh from it as long as you're getting the views that's what's very important if you get the it used to be if you get the subs the views will come but now it's if you get the views the subs will come especially if you're dropping good content and stuff like that so just keep that in mind whatever you do drop good content do things that are popular that are actually that people are actually looking for get your views and then you're gonna be good to go up next we got that boy uncle demi say i found him the slim reaper and then uh what's it called it says it's crazy you're still finding new ones bro mad props to you i know several people spent a few days trying to get a kd one and then like you said appreciate it bro i ain't a lot of y'all man it's amazing that anybody's even still looking for them joints man i'm not gonna cap to you because i'm gonna be real with you um we looked for him and we looked for KD. I thought I, I almost distinctly remember them saying that there was no KD and no Giannis and no big bills like that in the game. Like I almost distinctly remember them remember them. I almost distinctly remember them saying that that some of those bills just couldn't be made and they weren't in the game, but then now they are in the game. So I guess they're just adding the bills and he's finding them as they add them. Who knows what's going on, man? But hey, it is what it is. Big shout out to Uncle Demi because ain't no way that I'm gonna be sitting there looking in that in that builder for hella ass bills i'm not gonna lie to you bro like like you can't like the bills is cool and it's cool to see those names but when and but when you go in there and look at so somebody literally he gotta be in there looking for them joints 24 hours a day because the bills they so like you have to be looking for it because it's not something you're gonna stumble on to you never stumble on to these bills because you they, they're not really usable in the game the way that the game is played today if i'm making sense to y'all you know what i'm saying you gotta really be going in there tweak one thing you gotta really be doo -doo 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 -doo. okay try this doo -doo 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 -doo. try that like do your thing and i ain't gonna i, ain't, I mean I ain't, I ain't hating on it. i'm just saying bro I, I don't have the patience anybody that got the patience and the time to go in there and do that and look up these bills Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause I just couldn't waste my time on a bill that I know that I'm not gonna use. You see what I'm saying? I only go in there and I'll spend two or three hours trying to find the bills that I'm gonna use. And like some of these bills, they just not usable in today's game. But it's cool to have these cool names, but we had the cool names, but then they took that ability from us. It is what it is. Uh, I had the claw and now I feel like my dude is 0 0.28 less per percent less effective on defense because the psychological warfare that i brought by being dr claw it was just un un un, 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 un unrivaled by anything and now for what we talking about today that boy lego fan says i need 2k2 so 2k labs to do a test on how often you can actually green a dunk or open uh with perfect timing every time with 99 dunk unlikely there's even a way to do it considering all the stick inputs required and uh, 2K Labs come back and says it might be doable. We've done, we've done stick inputs in the past. Uh, so, uh, so just wide open dunks with the meter and see see if there's a timing or any way to do that. He said, I agree. It's kind of hard to do, especially uh, with my testing rig. Uh, I can't do stick inputs or whatever. So like they they really saying they can't really do it. Uh, 2K Labs said they can. But the whole reason he's asking this is because bro, people is out there just straight blowing wide open dunks. Like it doesn't matter. Like with the changes that they made, bro, with the, with all of the stuff, interior defense and everything, the game is just like a game. It's almost in an unrecognizable state. We're just gonna talk. Let's look at a couple of things when people are talking about interior defense right here, bro. And they just talking about this one here says they didn't patch interior defense. They patched dunking. You know, uh, be like Don Brutus, Sim, all of them. But why? This happens to me all game. And yep, this is what happened. You are gonna go to the like Brute was going to the rim yesterday. Look. You, you just like not that one i don't care about that one because that clock got unblockable frames so we know that you're not that you're not gonna uh do that but man brute was going to the rim and the lane was wide open and i know that he's throwing a i know he's doing the input to do the dunk and it just wouldn't let him do it it was just he would just do a layup or something if somebody was there i'm not saying that that's not what's supposed to happen i'm just saying that that that's what was happening and it's not consistent with what used to be happening conversely we got that guy hey we got that guy uh joey df he's saying that this is happening to him and he's got 90 plus block 90 interior paint intimidation uh you know red contest still go in and as you can see look he's right there and the dude i mean he's looking look how far away bro i could see if he was right under the basket but look at look at the distance between him and the basket bro and then this guy is standing right here between it and on top of that, he's a little guy. And then he just goes, and, and people feel, they feel confident going straight up over you, 
just like that. Why does this happen every single year? I'm gonna tell you why it happened because like me and Bruce said, they hit the easy button at the beginning of the year. This is what they do because the noobs, they got to get them in there. And uh, they said all the tryhards that had the game, now that the noobs got it, we got to make it uh, palatable for them. Up next, we got Dr. Exclusive says another video of why interior defense needs to be fixed. And you seeing right here, bro, look at this. Dude goes in, I mean, just dunks right around him. Like you, you see, and it's crazy because Things like this, it's not necessarily that it's bad or, or good. It's just very, very inconsistent. That's what it is. That's that's what we can say. I can't tell you that it's bad. I can't tell you that it's good. I can just tell you that it's very inconsistent. Look at this right here. Dude goes in, slap him, ball come out of his hand. I mean, we know Acrobat been broken all year. We know all these things have been broken all year. And like these mechanics, it, they, they're at an all time high. And it's just like, it's just like uh, you don't know what's going on and it's really hard to play this game. Now we still winning, we still blasting people by like 80, but the game in its current state, it just feels like it's complete and utter ass in its current state. I'm good at this ass, ass game, but it's just still ass. It doesn't make it any less ass because it, it just is what it is. Oh, hey, we got that boy, uh, Zach Prue. He says, I love how 2K patches steals. Don't even bother the touch clamp breaker and giant slayer or interior defense. As much as I play competitive pro-am, the game's going to die if 2K doesn't start to listen. And that's what we're saying. Like a lot of people, we still beating people, but the way that we're having to beat people, it just doesn't feel good. And people are just going in, like they just go in and just dunk the ball over you or they get hit out of the air and they throw it in or they go up and then they go up for the layup because they're a small guy and then they switch it up. Or you close out on them and you hitting like 50%. Bro, I had like, I hit like a 37% of 50 some percent all that yesterday. And you know how I was doing that? Because I turned on the bar. Somehow using, I used that new arrow and I, I seen Nike do it, bro. I'm telling you, I'm using the bar now and I'm, and I'm, I'm shooting. You gonna miss one here and there because you're gonna, you're gonna get caught looking at the bar instead of looking at your uh, hands. So you're gonna miss one here and there, but once you get used to it and you stop looking at it, bro, it's better to shoot 70% than to be shooting in the 40s and 50s because I'm trying to shoot without it. I, I'd rather get hit by hit, 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 hit looking at that here and there than anything else. Up next, that boy Downworks says, I've been playing NBA, I've been playing Park and Rec since 2K18. Last time I checked my win percentage was probably 2K19. Can't believe folks who uh, who have been playing for years aren't over it. I can understand new players who want to validate themselves and feel good, but I quickly realize it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it, it actually does matter. It does matter, you jackass. It does actually matter, bro, but it matters for players that, like he said, for players that really aren't, any you know you're not really like it's it's for it's, it's just for people to look at because sometimes we know that we'll look at your stuff and see if you play with randoms i don't really care about your win percentage though like me and t said your win percentage can just be terrible it is what it is but that shooting percentage if i feel like this says a lot about you because it tells you what type of what type of shots you take and if you take open shots or not it doesn't tell me if you can shoot or not it just tells me are you judicious with the shots that you take you see somebody with a 70 uh shot percentage it means that they can hit a lot of open shots and they don't take any other shots than that you see somebody high 40s that means he's a gunner if you see 40s 50s i mean you see half off uh, you see 50s and 60s that means that they are spot that normally this is what it normally means not all the time it normally means that they are spot up and they um and they take shots judiciously but somebody that's got 70 it means that they are they ain't shooting nothing but blast open shots and they don't want to play with their shot percentage at all so i don't even worry about them guys i worry about guys in high 40s 50s and 60s that's who i worry about 30s i'm really not worried about so last up though we got a hey, a2k way to make the game sim uh is to build part of the game off a basketball fund of basketball fundamentals so badges based on uh, badges based on bad basketball would be removed and he says you know stuff like bailout agent threes and uh tight handles aka hold the ball all day like i said man a lot of this stuff is a cocktail for bad basketball and this is why it's a cocktail for bad basketball anything that required iq they took out of the game do i think that they should have left in uh like, like, like all this running around off ball i told people listen bro if they take away the adrenaline off ball people are just gonna run around and spin around off ball they're not gonna do anything else and you're never gonna get randoms to be able to sit down in the half court set that's what happened. They 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 kill uh, interior or they touched interior. Now people can just run straight to the rim. They really kill shot contests. Now people can just shoot in people's faces. All this stuff is just a cocktail for bad IQ basketball. 
And uh, like I said, do I think that I definitely believe that they should have that they should have um, taken away like prior to anything prior to inbound, you should not be you losing adrenaline, but all that sprinting around, running around off ball and stuff like that, bro, it really makes the game bad. It makes for bad basketball. And I thought it was a skill gap for you to think, okay, if you're a center, do I sprint to set the screen or do I walk up and set the screen? And it made for more realistic timing and pace. It's like, do I sprint to set the screen or do I walk up and do this? Like you're not sprinting to do everything in basketball. You, a lot of times you are shuffling and skipping to your spot and doing stuff. The only time that you're really gonna sprint is when you're doing action stuff like I, I, I might sprint to set the screen or a lot of times you might walk up and set the screen and stuff like that but it made for more realistic feel in basketball play and like now we just where it's a it's an all-time low iq type game and it's really bad it's not it but but see the thing is we don't care about the bums that are doing it we don't care that people you know people like people probably like eh. hey you're just mad because people can score on you now and stuff like that shut the f up Shut the f bro. I'm giving away, I'm giving up less points per game now and we're beating people by more, but it just doesn't feel good because now Brute go in there to try to dunk the ball and now he got to lay it up and then he switched to acrobat and he can abuse acrobat. Me, I'm just shooting the ball in people's faces. Like I said, you've seen me shoot 100% in the wreck and I'll end it around 80, like all this stuff. It's like, I can do it, but before the patches, it felt rewarding. Now it really don't feel rewarding. Now I'm just blasting people. But what y'all don't realize is it does bring the skill gap closer together. But once the people, I would never know that I could shoot contested shots because I don't shoot contested shots. But once I see you do it and do it consistently and I feel like I'm better than you, I'm going to start doing it. And now the skill gap goes there and now you don't have a chance. So it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Um, hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying. And uh, we're going to let y'all get off out of here. Make sure y'all comment down below. If you're interested in little sports briefs, let me know that. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.